compassion and um, it's just that I can become so many people while you're acting you just don't have one life you have many lives and you can actually go through circumstances that you've never gone before and actually understand It's going to be in Richboro, Pennsylvania in January 18th, from the 18th through the 21st. Um, it's called The Shire, and it's about this small family from England um, that has a crazy life. You know, it's a, I play the character of the Lord and Lady's daughter, Jessica um, Parker. Um, I'm a spoiled brat. I'm the only child. And I go to the States to study and actually basically to move away from the person or the guy that I love because he hurt me. He, I, I saw him kissing somebody else and so I decided to leave and then I came back just to get revenge. Um, my mother is a frustrated um, woman because she doesn't have sex <laughs> in the play. So it's supposed to be like a comedy kind of play, which it is, it's comedy. Um, and my grandmother is a crazy lady, so it, it's just a funny story about this whole big, like, royal family, and it's just gone wild and crazy. Just being in a, in, like, in the theater or on a stage or just doing stuff with acting is, it just gets me excited. It, I don't, I don't get paid for this. But I just love it. I, I don't care that I don't get paid for it because I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying it. I'm excited that I can become some this Jessica Parker, you know, and play her and go through her circumstances and her frustrations and all her drama, you know. And um, I, I just, I don't know how to even explain it. It's just fun and it's fulfilling for me. Last year I did Lady in the Water. I just... I just was an extra there. How it all started was that I went to an open call because they were actually looking for people um, to fill in some some roles, some speaking roles in the movie. So they were looking for bilingual people. And I went to the open call and the assistant director heard me speaking Spanish and um, he pulled me out and said, you know, I see you speak Spanish, you have to meet the casting director because we're looking actually for people that speak Spanish. So I met with the casting director real quick and they got my information and everything and they gave me a call back to read. And so I did, I read for De La Torre Sisters, if anybody has seen it or if anybody will see it. Well, that was one of the characters that I was going to play. I didn't get the part. I went to audition. I didn't get the part. Um, they asked me if I was interested in working as a extra and I told them that, yeah, I was most definitely, you know, um, able to work as an extra. So they called me back as an extra and it turned out that I was I worked for a couple of days as an extra but then I worked as a stand-in also. Which is kind of cool. It's not basically acting but you stand in for the main characters or the main actors so that the cinematographer and the director that they could, you know, level the lighting and, you know, put up the stage so that when they film the main actors, you know, everything was ready to just roll. Um, so it was cool. It was a really nice experience. It, um, uh, I met a lot of people and um, I actually, because of that, I got waivers so that now I could become a SAG member. They say that now Philly, you know, it's getting like, it's getting a lot of stuff and a lot of work for film and acting. I mean, the little time that I've been here, I've only been here for four years, and it wasn't like in my third year that I was that I've been here that I actually got work as an actress, you know, or got the opportunity to be in a movie. And basically, just because I'm like Shyamalan, he's from Philadelphia, and he he likes to film here, which is great, and I think that what he's doing is great. Um, it is difficult to be here in Philadelphia and become an actor of you know of a, re a renamed actor. I do think, unfortunately, that you have to constantly be going, for me, I have to constantly be going to New York because here in Philadelphia, there's not too many jobs as, you know, to get for film. I think Philadelphia has a great theater program. It's not Broadway, 
but it is a really really good and recognized theater program we, i mean we have the whole you know um avenue of the arts which is broad and it has like plenty of theaters and we have great plays you know if nobody has gone see plays over there it's really sad because you should I, i've been there and it's we've had great plays in there and um in the theater area i think that yeah it's it's kind of good. It's it's a good balance, you know, industry, if you would like to say it, in the theater field. We have a lot of independent film makers here, which is good, too, and it's great because now nowadays that's, like, the big thing, you know, the independent film. For any actor who really loves acting, anything is good and anything is important.